In this video, we will go over 20 Army Aviation Information Questions for the SIFT test. If you learn the concepts, you can answer correctly. Let's get started. Download the SIFT tutoring app for iOS or Android for more practice. Number 1. How many types of friction are there? A, 3, B, 4, C, 5, or D, 6? The correct answer is letter B, 4. This is because the force that opposes the motion of one solid object over another is known as friction. There are mainly four types of friction, static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction, and fluid friction. Number 2. Since the fuselage of the helicopter, with a single main rotor, is suspended from a single point and has considerable mass, it is free to oscillate either longitudinally or laterally in the same way as a pendulum. This behavior is called a. Coriolis effect, b. Pendular action, c. Dynamic rollover, or d. Deviation. The correct answer is letter B, pendular action. This is because the pendular action is the helicopter fuselage's tendency to oscillate as a pendulum longitudinally and or laterally. Number 3. Which of the following is the increased efficiency of the rotor disc caused by the interference of the airflow when near the ground? A. Coriolis effect. B. Transverse flow effect. C out-of-ground effect, or D, in-ground effect. The correct answer is letter D, in-ground effect. In-ground effect, IG, is a condition where the downwash of air from the main rotor is able to react with a hard surface, the ground, and give a useful reaction to the helicopter in the form of more lift force available with less engine power required. Number 4. When a force is applied to one side of a spinning object, an action occurs approximately 90 degrees in the direction of rotation from the point where the force is applied. This action is called a. Gyroscopic force, b. Gyroscopic precession, c. Gyroscopic effect, or d. Gyroscopic action. The correct answer is letter b. Gyroscopic precession. This is because the spinning main rotor of a helicopter acts like a gyroscope. As such, it has the properties of gyroscopic action, one of which is precession. Gyroscopic precession is the resultant action or deflection of a spinning object and a force is applied to it. Number 5. Driving region provides A. Lift, B. Drag, C. Thrust, or D. Deceleration forces. The correct answer is letter C, thrust. In the driving region, the blade produces the forces needed to rotate the blades during the auto rotation. The aerodynamic force in the driving region is inclined slightly forward with respect to the axis of rotation. This inclination provides thrust that leads to an acceleration of the blade rotation. Number 6. What is the preferred method of ground movement for a helicopter at airports? A. Ground taxi, B. Air taxi, C. Ground movement, or D. Uber taxi. The correct answer is letter B. Air taxi. This is because air taxi is the preferred method for helicopter movements on airports, provided ground operations and conditions permit. Air taxi authorizes the pilot to proceed above the surface either, via hover taxi or flight at speeds greater than 20 knots. Number 7. What is the primary principle to counteract the main rotor torque with notor? A. Coanda effect, B. Venturi effect, C. Induced drag, or D. Ground effect. The correct answer is letter A. Coanda effect. 
This is because the Coanda effect is a well-known fluid mechanics phenomenon in which a jet flow attaches itself to a nearby surface and remains attached even when the surface bends away from the initial jet direction and the jet is deflected closer to the surface, eventually attaching to it. Using the Coanda effect, the anti-torque notor system replaces the use of a tail rotor on a helicopter. Number 8. What type of helicopter design uses a duct fan in place of a tail rotor to cancel the torque effect? A. The notor, B. The rotor, C. The motor, or D. The AOA. The correct answer is letter A, the notor. This is because notor is a helicopter system that avoids the use of a tail rotor. It was developed by McDonnell Douglas Helicopter Systems. Number 9. What type of drag is caused by lift? A. Skin friction drag, B. Profile drags, C. Induced drag, or D. Parasite drags. The correct answer is letter C, induced drag. This is because induced drag is the drag incurred as a result of the production of lift. Higher angles of attack, which produce more lift, also produce more induced drag. Number 10. A rotating body spins at the same speed unless acted upon by an external force is called a. Human factors, b. The Venturi effect, c. Ground effect, or d. Coriolis force. The correct answer is letter D, Coriolis force. This is because in physics, the Coriolis force is an inertial or fictitious force that acts on objects in motion within a frame of reference that rotates with respect to an inertial frame. In a reference frame with clockwise rotation, the force acts to the left of the motion of the object. In one with anticlockwise rotation, the force acts to the right. Number 11. The blank is the angle between the line perpendicular to the mast and the blades in motion. A. Coning angle, B. Angle of incidence, C. Angle of attack, or D. Pitch angle. The correct answer is letter A, coning angle. The angle formed between the plane of rotation of a helicopter rotor blade when it is producing lift and a line perpendicular to the rotor shaft. Number 12. The angle between the cord line of each blade and the rotor system's plane of rotation, mechanical angle, is called a. Angle of coning, b. Angle of attack, c. Pitch angle, or d. Angle of incidence. The correct answer is letter D, angle of incidence. This is because angle of incidence or AOI is the angle between the cord line of a blade and rotor hub. It is usually referred to as blade pitch angle. For fixed airfoils, such as vertical fins or elevators, the angle of incidence is the angle between the cord line of the airfoil and a selected reference plane of the helicopter. Number 13. The controls located on the cabin floor by the pilot's feet is A. Throttle, B. Cyclic control, C. Collective control, or D. Anti-torque pedals. The correct answer is letter D. Anti-torque pedals. This is because the anti-torque pedals are located on the cabin floor by the pilot's feet, and the pilot controls them with his feet. The anti-torque pedals control only the tail rotor of the helicopter, but not the main rotor. They are the only flight controls which control this rotor. Number 14. The roll axis is the other name of A. Rotor's rotating axis, B. Lateral axis, C. Longitudinal axis, or D. Vertical axis. The correct answer is letter C, longitudinal axis. This is because the roll axis, or longitudinal axis, has its origin at the center of gravity and is directed forward, parallel to the fuselage reference line. Motion about this axis is called roll. 
Number 15. The differences in lift between the fore and aft portions of the rotor disc are called a. Coriolis effect, b. Magnus effect, c. Translational lift, or d. Transverse flow effect. The correct answer is letter d. Transverse flow effect. This is because transverse flow is the decreased lift at the rear of the rotor disc due to an increase in induced flow as the disc moves through the air, producing a roll to the right. Transverse flow occurs as a result of forward flight or a significant wind. Number 16. The stationary parts that allow rotary wing aircraft to land safely without damaging their undercarriage are called a. Landing gear b. Landing wheels, c. Skids, or d. Landing bars. The correct answer is letter c. Skids. This is because skids are a simple landing gear system where the shock absorption is built directly into the skid. The cross braces are curved, attaching to the skids via a saddle. These curved skids are very light, with modern helicopters using advanced composite materials that are highly flexible while being very light. Number 17. The total aircraft weight at any moment during the flight or ground operation is known as a. Maximum takeoff weight, b. Aircraft gross weight, AGW, c. Maximum gross weight, or d. External gross weight. The correct answer is letter B, aircraft gross weight or AGW. This is because the aircraft gross weight, also known as the all-up weight and abbreviated AUW, is the total aircraft weight at any moment during the flight or ground operation. An aircraft's gross weight will decrease during a flight due to fuel and oil consumption. Number 18. Static friction is acted when an object a. About to move over another object, b. Moves over another object, c. Roll over another object, or d. Stay rest on an object. The correct answer is letter a. About to move over another object. This is because the friction experienced when individuals try to move a stationary object on a surface without actually triggering any relative motion between the body and the surface on which it is on. Number 19. The altitude displayed on the altimeter is a. Pressure altitude, b. Indicated altitude, c. True altitude, or d. Density altitude. The correct answer is letter b. Indicated altitude. This is because the indicated altitude is the altitude shown on the altimeter. This means that when you are reading your plane's altimeter, and it is set appropriately, you are reading the indicated altitude. This altitude is named because your altimeter indicates the altitude. Number 20. Air pressure decreases one inch of mercury for every blank feet of altitude. A. 500. B. 800, C, 1000, or D, 1500? The correct answer is letter C, 1000. This is because air pressure decreases by about 1 inch of mercury for every 1000 feet of elevation above sea level. Download the SIFT tutoring app for iOS or Android for more practice.